Hey, Shalom. I praise His glory and honors to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha, Hakodash, and Dublin as to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. <coughs> Pardon me, Salakia. Uh, my brother Makola from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp with a list here to feed the elect, you know, to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. And um, this is a quick video, you know. Uh, I can't go too long because my memory. I don't know what happened to this phone. But anyway, uh, the, I, brought the, I think he's the brother Yashaya just just sent this this um, screenshot basically in the group. And um, you know, funny enough, the other day, a couple of cousins of mine and, a, and our uncle we were discussing this same topic that there is going to come a point in time that the prime minister. The Arby Brown Dog will have to make the juice mandatory. And I have a specific cousin that was saying, no, no, you can't make it mandatory because this... Uh, he was explaining a whole lot of bullshit. And I'm going to send him this video, you know, because I've sent him the link. I'm going to send him this video. He was explaining a whole lot of bullshit why, you know, the government can't make the juice mandatory. And I say juice for censorship reasons, so read the thing that is on the screen man and you get that the understanding because your crime minister says no free ride for the unvaccinated says wholeness right so you in other words certain benefits or certain privileges are going to be cut off from your mouth if you're not juiced up and it reads down a bit it says crime minister andrew wholeness has given the clearest indication yet that his government at some point will make it mandatory for a person to take the big C juice man and we've been saying this that it is going to come so for all that who was debating us that now it, it can't be made mandatory well yeah here the brown dog is telling you guys that he's gonna make it mandatory now what you gonna do about it now huh what are you going to do about it now? This is where faith chips in. Big faith, to be precise. This is where big faith is going to come in. See? And you see, when you hear us speak, you know, the men of the Lord, it's best that you people just shut the fuck up if you don't have anything good to say, man. You know, in, 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 in truth and in fact, because as I, as I was saying to my cousin, that, look, you're just speaking about these things in the time of the pandemic you know i've been speaking about this thing over 10 years man 10 years we've been we've been speaking of what's to come and how it's gonna go down and so on and so forth so what do you know you know you're a baby to this thing you're wet behind the ear you know nothing yeah. tell me you good we are the prophets not you you know that we are the prophets man we are the ones that the Lord had given the understanding of his word, of his prophecies. Man. So whenever you hear um, we come out and we say, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And if, if you don't hear us saying we speak as a man, then that means we, we are speaking of the spirit. Man, because the Lord had given us, you know, the, the understanding of what's to come. Isn't it written? Surely the Lord God will do not as a matter of fact. Let me, let me, let me get it, man. I think this Amos... Chapter 3, verse 7. Right? Okay. As a matter of fact, Amos 3, verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? So all this, this pandemic and everything that's happening, ultimately it is of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. He is the one that is doing it, man. Not, 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 not of us of ourselves. Just get up and know. He is the one that's doing it. And he have, and he have, um, told it to us that he's gonna do it mm -hmm. that's the reason why here in the text he says surely the lord power will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets mm -hmm. yeah that's what the scripture says you know as a matter of fact let me turn out this data so that yeah. he says surely the lord do it nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets man so we are the prophets we know the mind of the Lord, man. We know what he's going to do and what we're supposed to do. 
you know. So this is Habakkuk chapter one verse, chapter two verse one. It says, "I will stand upon my watch, and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I will answer when I am reproved." And this this happened to Habakkuk, and this happened unto us, man. We are the watchers. We labor in this truth day and night, to 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 bring forth spiritual um, forecast to you people. To tell you about the time that you're living in, man. Right? Verse 2 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it up, make it plain upon tables that he may run that read at it. And 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 the tables is 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 is, is the scriptures, man. Didn't the Apostle Paul liken this, this truth unto a race? So we are all running, all, all of us that you see. Um, constantly enduring bringing out this information we are we are running we are running that race man spiritually right verse 3 says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and it's speaking now. everything that we say is speaking he says um and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so when I was saying to even my cousin that look they're gonna make this juice monitor and he was debating me, giving me all different type of argument, which typically, uh, well, uh, normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue, but you know, it's a cousin of mine that you know we close, you know. So they uh, exercise spirit, cause now is the time where it doesn't even make any sense to argue with Jake anymore because we know what we know and we know that what we know is gonna come to pass, you know. But this is what verse 4 says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. And, 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 and we know that this man, yeah, the elites, these men, they, they, as the scripture said, their soul is not upright in them. And right now, right now they are about to get their, their neural order agenda um, on the go. So these things has to be. Uh, ultimately, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, our God, is about to get his new world order on the go <laughs> which is going to use these devils to bring forth his new world order setting up the kingdom of israel headed by our lord and savior Yahweh Shai. you know so we know exactly where this thing is going man we can see exactly where this thing is going man the lord said he had set watchmen upon thy walls of jerusalem we shall never hold their peace and he that made mention of the Lord keep not silence. Just paraphrasing, I think it's Isaiah 62, verse 2, if I'm not mistaken. So we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not holding back anything from you Israelites, man. We, we're telling you as it is, man. You know that, you know that song, tell it like it is. Yeah. And I'm going to close off with the scripture, man. Uh, Luke 12, verse 56, it says, and he said also to the people, when he see a cloud rise out of the west, straight where he say, there come it a shower, and so it is. And when he see the salt wind blow, he say there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. He hypocrites. He can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that he can, he do not discern this time? How? How? Furthermore, if, if you can't do it for yourself, we, we did it for you. We discerned it for you. Uh, because, but, you but guess what? You wasn't listening, because if you had if you was listening, yeah, then you'd understand that. Even if you can't see the next move, you'd understand that what we're saying is right. And, and, and you're supposed to do what we, we, we say you're supposed to do. Because we discerned it for you, man. And we're telling you. Because here's ago we was been speaking about this. Look out for the charagma, man. Look, look out for the charagma being made mandatory. And I, and I have something to show you as well. Hold on. It says, verse 57 says, Yeah, and why even of yourself judging not what is right? As a matter of fact. Bear me one second. 